What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review for a film that I've been very highly anticipating ever since I saw the first trailer and it warmed my heart so much and that is Christopher Robin. Now Christopher Robin's one of these new Disney live action films that Disney's been kind of making them up for. They've did Cinderella, they've done Jungle Book, Maleficent, Beauty and the Beast and now we have a retelling or a slightly different twist to the Winnie the Pooh tale. What is that slightly different twist? Well, if you didn't see the trailer, it's about Christopher Robin grown up as a gloomy adult, or should I say as a Huffleum, trying to just get through in life in his work days with his family, trying to take care of them, and he's forgotten about Winnie the Pooh and the Hundred Acre Wood Gang. And that's where our story embarks on. It's about him trying to find his childhood self again. It's a thing that I think a lot of people should need to. I think a lot of people need to find their childhood life in them. I'm a child still at heart. I don't care. I'm 21 years old. I'm still going to be a child at heart even when I'm 45, hopefully. That's where I really liked where they put the message within this film. I think the message in this film is very contained. It's very simple, but also very essential to the story and very essential to life in general. And I think that's where I can really recommend this film to adults and kids because as strong as the message is for kids, I think it'll hit the adults just a little bit harder. This film is about growing up, it is about forgetting about your childhood and you getting lost within your work. All the other stressful things that happen when you get older. Maybe there's some more things to that point where it could be a con, which we'll get into a little bit, because this film isn't a masterpiece. It isn't perfection. It isn't any of that. But what Christopher Robin is, is that it's a simple, sweet, all around Disney film. And like when I say Disney film, I do mean it. It is a straight Disney film. It's there's no certain twist to it other than Christopher Robin being grown up where I feel like that could have been missed the mark and I think it was in some aspects where I think Disney could have tackled the darker tone a little bit more or tackled this message a little bit harder and gone for a little bit more of a serious story with the heartwarming elements of Winnie the Pooh and the gang. But again, it's a simple, sweet Disney film, and that's kind of what I expected. I kind of was just hoping for a little bit more of that. Again, I think could be a con for some, which is kind of where I'm getting to it, is that the message, again, was strong and effective, especially for me growing up, and I think for other people around me as well, and I think when adults see this film, they'll recognize that. I kind of wish they a little tackled it a little bit harder. We're here not just to see Christopher Robin all grown up with Ian McGregor playing him, who Ian McGregor is fantastic fantastic in this movie. He's one of the best actors working today, like so underrated. Also have Haley Atwell playing his wife and his daughter in here is adorable. Both do good performances, would have liked to see a little bit more of them. Here's a, you came here to see your old friends, still there, still adorable. You got Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, Eeyore, Rabbit, Kanga, Roo, and Owl and you have them living in the Hundred Acre Woods. And I think this is the best part about the whole film, is seeing them all ruffled up, all kind of dirty up, because they're all stuffed animals. And it's cool to see how they realize them. I think the CGI really worked for all the characters. I think it really just touched. And there's a lot of scenes in here, and the cinematography is so beautiful because it lit it lits a lot of these areas all very well done in some super creative ways. It's kind of where I wish the editing would have been a little bit better, which is this, that's all the, like, a filmography like kind of person would notice is the editing I think could have been touched up in some departments sometimes it felt a little bit lazy and I think would have enhanced the cinematography a little bit but seriously the cinematography in here is just beautiful in the way that they color and the color palettes and stuff yes it's kind of a Logan-esque color palette but they do some colorful touches that kind of makes everything brighten up a bit which it, it's just unique again Hearing a lot of these voice actors coming back, especially the guy who does Winnie the Pooh, is just wonderful. Yes, some of the voice actors aren't back, but I think everyone does a very effective job as these characters. Each and every one of them has a scene that just makes you smile, or makes your heart feel with joy, or you just feel with joy, because that's what I felt within this film, was joy and heartwarming elements. Being honest, I think Eeyore probably stole the whole entire show. He has some of the best moments in this film, some of the funniest, but Tigger's great in here too. It's kind of hard to go back, because again, each of our four main people, people, Winnie, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore all have great moments that really do steal the film. And who can, like, Pooh Bear is just one of the most essential characters to any Disney thing. And he always has these fantastic quotes that make you think about life but also analyze it real fast, and I love that. Overall, I really enjoyed Christopher Robin. I think this is a very heartwarming, tug-at-your-strings kind of film. And yes, it's all around Disney. It doesn't take anything, escalate it too super high. It's a very simple, sweet story, and it's nothing that's going to make you cry 
maybe a little bit because of all the heartwarming and tear-jerky moments in here. And I do think Disney could have pushed the envelope in a little bit in a couple of the sections just to see where it can go and see where it can get to. I do wish they would have hit those marks, but I didn't expect them to. I was just kind of hopeful that they would kind of go further with the message. But seriously, the message is still very strong within this film. The cinematography is great. The score is great and gets you into the whimsicalness of Winnie the Pooh. And I'm not going to lie. I want to see another film with a grown-up Christopher Robin, his family, enjoying the many wonders of Winnie the Pooh. All that said, I'm going to give Christopher Robin a B. Hey guys, what do you guys think about Christopher Robin? Are you guys looking forward to this film? Have you seen it already? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts on Christopher Robin. Just leave me down below. What is your favorite live-action Disney film? I think my favorite one so far is either Cinderella or The Jungle Book, because both of those had a lot of magical touches to them. Of course, if you guys are new here, hit up Sandwich on Films also down below, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news, and also some movie reviews. You guys do not want to miss out on that. Till next time, though. You guys all stay classy and have a great rest of your day.